Okay. I got most of it. So now I'll take my towel, get my eyes good, behind my ears, in my ear. Do all that first. Then I come up here and wring my hair out. And I notice you're not twisting. You're just yeah. I'm not over twisting it. I just twist squeezing. it enough to squeeze it. Yeah. I mean, like wringing it out like a mop. You're yeah, not doing you that. Yeah. yeah. Don't do your locks dirty and squeeze them out like a mop. Though some people would like to think you have mop head. Don't treat your hair like it's a mop. Because that's energy. Right. So I have squozen. Is that a word? No, squeezed. Squeezed squozen. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> <laughs> I squeezed it out. <laughs> I squeezed it out enough to where it's not, you know, soaking wet. So now I take my towel. Because my locks are so long, I tend to keep one end of the towel longer than the other. See, can I get and that? I wrap it. Oh, I see. Okay. Can you see the towel in the sink on the other side? Um, I'm talking to the audience. Well, okay, yeah. there it is. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's shorter on one end than the other, and then I put on my ear and I take the short end and I wrap it underneath the long one and I do the you know the twist everybody sees on TV but I twist and then the long end ends up being underneath to catch all the hair mm -hmm. so then I turn around keeping my hair over the sink I take the end it should end up like this almost for the most part Take the end and pull it up towards the top, and then I make sure it's all tucked enough to not have hair dripping everywhere. And this is where the safety pin comes in handy. It's already pre-opened, so then I take it and stick it through the tip, and then I take a part of the towel that's already up here twisted, stick the safety pin through that, and then I close it. So now my hair is out of my way off my shoulders and everything and that's the shampoo process a lot of people say well, why don't you wash your hair in the shower why are you doing it in the kitchen sink for me personally washing my hair in the shower is like drama because my hair is so long at this point that it the weight when it's wet ends up pulling me backwards and it ends up hurting my neck so it's easier for me to bend forward and wash all of this hair going forward. Truth be told, I've been washing my hair in the kitchen sink since it was only like this long. It's just easier for me to do it going forward. But I know some people who they wash their hair in the shower regardless of how long it is. I can't function like that. So that's why I use the kitchen sink. It's not nasty because you're washing your hair anyway, which means it's clean. And hopefully you're not a nasty person, so your kitchen sink is not nasty, it's clean too. So, you know, if you're paranoid about it, bleach your sink out real good before you wash your hair. But for the most part, your sink should be clean anyway. So that it's not a big deal to wash your hair in the kitchen sink. So, okay, so I just finished washing my hair, and now I'm about to do the twisting and all of that. So, I'm using the herbal hair oil, not wash your skin hair herbal hair oil to uh, do the moisturizing part and then do a little scalp massage and then I'm going to use the tropical hair butter to do the actual twisting and then I have my clips I keep them in a Tupperware container because the container they come in at the beauty supply store tends to like not be useful after about a week or so so I found that getting a Tupperware container for your clips it lasts longer so and for some reason in my mind is a little more sanitary. So that's why I go with that. So I'm gonna unpin my towel and um, put my safety pin to the side. Now I should have two towels right now because I should be putting one on this hardwood floor, but I'm gonna do my best to keep the water from getting on the floor from my hair. So I'm taking the towel down forward so all my hair can come forward. Now there's two ways that I could do my hair. I can either leave it all forward like this. Looking like it. Looking like it from the Adams family. 
I could leave it like this and then work my way forward and move my hair back, but for video's sake, I'm going to do it from the side, from one side to the other. Because say you're watching a TV show and you don't feel like just listening to it, or you're watching a really good movie and you don't feel like just listening to it while you do your hair, it's easier to do it from one side to the other because then you can see what's going on and do your hair at the same time versus having all your hair on your face and then you can only hear what's going on. So um, I'm going to do one side to the other for video sake so you can see my face while I'm doing it. But I take the herbal hair oil and I'm going to spray into my scalp. I'm gonna move some hair. Spray in between. I'm going to do this from one side all the way to the other. Rub it in the front. Make sure it's not running down my face. Rub up my neck. Make sure it's not running down my back. Get it all in. And then I start massaging my scalp with it. It's been said that massaging your scalp stimulates hair growth, and I believe it because you're um, stimulating your blood vessels and promoting circulation, and promoting circulation promotes any kind of growth. Feeds the hair follicle. All of that good stuff. So I'm massaging the oil in. This tropical, well, herbal hair oil has um, jojoba oil and almond oil and some other good old oil, sweet almond oil in it. So I'm, from, I'm massaging all of those in because they're good moisturizers and they also stimulate growth as well. Now, the thing that's going to help your hair grow the most is taking care of it. There are herbs and oils that assist that, but if you don't keep your hair clean and take care of it, it's not growing anywhere, no matter whose product you use. So you've got to keep your hair clean and pamper it so that it'll be good to you and grow nice and healthy. So, after I massage all the oil in, my forehead may start shining because the oil is on here now. My hair may be shining, I don't know because I'm not looking at it. but. Make sure it gets massaged and good. And then after that, move it to the side. Now I'm going to take the tropical hair butter and start the twisting process. Um, if I feel a couple of locks that you know have a lot of new growth to the point where I can interlock it and show you how I interlock my own hair, I will. But for the most part, I just twist it and clip and twist it and clip. You'll see what I mean. So, I start from the bottom and go to the top. I'm coming around. Okay, mom's coming around to get a better view for y'all. But, um, and I feel my, I don't box my locks out. Some people use a comb and box them out like braids. I think that's a little much, but I just make sure I separate them good. So I take a little bit of the tropical hair butter on my finger. Not a lot, just enough to like smooth it across the tip. I don't dig my finger in. You don't even need product like that. Just rub your finger across the top. Make sure it's enough to feel it. And then I rub it on the base of the lock. And then if I feel like there's space, then I interlock it, which is taking the lock and putting it through the root and pulling it through. And then if there's more space, you can do it again. Pull it through. And then you twist the rest down. Now some people palm roll, I just twist the root and clip it. 